Okay then, welcome back everybody. Let's we'll continue. We're gonna get a lot of good stuff in this episode. We should get Damrose's second location. This is gonna be a map. Um, I don't really pay attention to them because they don't really, they don't really show you much. I don't even know if I want to bring it up here. If you want to, I think it's journal. There we go. See the maps looking. They really don't identify all that much. So I guess they're good for lore and looking at the position of stuff, but not really something important. In any case, we're gonna get the second axe in this area. And I've recently come across an upgrade to the axe as well. Um, then like a better version. So, here, we've got a lot to do, a lot of enemies to beat. Um, the first thing that we want to do, in my opinion, is clear the lower area down there. Although, actually, when I think about it... Ooh. Actually, there's a more important thing to do. Let's do something else first. Let's get the flamethrower spell, because that is going to make things a lot easier. So, we got that upgraded catalyst. We're actually going to switch back. Oops. Switch back to the original one. That is going to give us less damage, but we're going to get a very pleasant spell very quickly. So you may remember we opened this gate down here, and there was a prisoner. What I didn't realize until more recently was we actually give that catalyst to this prisoner right here. So we're going to go ahead and hand that over, okay? <laughs> That's done. We have a happy prisoner in there now. Let's go and rest. That's going to have prisoner change location. So all we need to do now is rest the lantern over this way. If this doesn't make this episode too long, but it is, this is important when I think about going somewhere in a second because there are going to be a lot of enemies and this flamethrower is going to make that lot of enemies not feel quite so bad so you can see we're going back towards the pieta boss arena and at the entrance over here is our new npc i guess i didn't think about how much Vigor I have right now. Hello, I'm glad. Perhaps I couldn't see witness when I. Will you bring me? Get through all this, and then we have conflagration, which is realistically the only thing we need. If you did want to do double spears, which I personally haven't actually tried, you could also do that. Now, don't worry. Um, her quest line is going to have us get that catalyst back. There are going to be better ones as well. If you come up here and you notice there's like loot and stuff around, it's because, I don't know if they've changed it now, they don't seem to be fighting now. Periodically when you come back to and from Skyrest, they'll actually uh, continue battling. But sometimes you come up here and there's just like a load of loot waiting for you, which is quite funny. Anyways, we're going to head on back to where we began the video. I'm going to skip forward a little bit, otherwise it's going to be way, way, way long. Alright, so we're back here. I know it's a bit of a faff, but let's go ahead and get the conflagration on there. Um, did I purchase some extra armor yet? We do have the Descryus that... But having some kind of defense would be nice. We've got the Stillness Rope, so that's quite cool. Okay, so if I've got good... If I've got good figure at the end of this, I'm going to go ahead and think about putting something new on. That does kind of go... And when, uh... When stuff is like the wrong colour, just do something like this. You can get it to match now, not really. Not looking great. I'm going to have to purchase some armour or something later on. But uh, now, when I pull my left trigger, got an extra spell down there. R2 is... Crispy things up a little bit. As you can see, pretty good DPS as well. Um, so very nice. <laughs> it's probably the best, like, flamethrower spell in a Souls-like... Dark Souls 2 and stuff, they, they never seem quite as potent as that. Like, I don't know how good that's going to be on, like, PvP and stuff, because obviously enemies have way more health than players. Okay, so don't worry about this way right now. This is actually going to be a place that we loop back around in a second. As usual, we're going to take this in small loops. I know some people probably find it painful, but I think this is the way the game is meant to be played. So, 
If you change there, as you just saw, it's going to cause a little stuff to blow up down there, which is going to get some early damage in. Break as many of these eggs now as you can. This place gets very crowded very quickly. And it's a good idea to just be... What's the word? Have the health recovered. Now, it's up to you if you want to finish all of these now. But I personally like to have as many of them gathered as I can. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to run straight up this way. Okay, all of this stuff should stay aggroed. This is probably the biggest problem in here, right? So just be aware that we do have a butterfly. And we don't have an option to fling it off anyway, which is unfortunate. What we're going to do, we're just going to come up here. And we're going to try to get them to gather in this um, corridor here. Which might make you realise why we wanted the flamethrower. You mind? around a bit earlier than usual. Well, it's like failing to stay up. Why is it doing that? I don't know why it's doing that. Something's going re weird with the triggers. Okay, we'll grab, grab this now. That's actually... Oh, that's the hollows. Yeah, okay. We've got some good armor now. That's very nice, actually. Okay, so being as this stuff has come so far around, what we should now be able to do is... Ooh, open over the back end. And as you can see, so much stuff is just going to continue to aggro here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Such a bad place to be stuck. Get off. Mm -hmm. Give me all that, thank you. Let's get back around. I suppose what... Ooh, I've got a good idea for cheesing that butterfly. Anyways, f first things first, we want this. I know how we can cheese the butterfly. Let's reduce these numbers a bit more. And I think we can just soul flay it. Because we'll be able to recover the soul flay charge with all those explosive nodes in there. So many enemies in here, it's absolutely unreal. I have to pop a cluster. Oh my god, where did all this come from? Stop spawning on me. Interesting that the eye is closed here. I suppose you could farm these forever. Oh, that's a cool, it's not the best, but it is a cool idea. You could. If you wanted. Like get the times three from the from the uh, Reaper dude, and then come in here, right? Hello, oh man, really? I don't know how that got me. I came around the corner and everything. Like can it curve it? Can it? God damn, so many! Stop it! getting there now. Right, we want to get everything, so we've got to do it. It's because you're laying eggs, I used the wrong thing. Right, anyway, so clearly what we want to do here is we want to soul rip you. Right, can we? No, not really. Okay. I guess that's not going to work. That's unfortunate. Right, let's recover a bit more FP. Oh my god. Come is respawning. Stop it. So I guess we can't do the soul rip on spirit anyways. That's a shame. That has ended up in a mega, mega place. I can't tell if they've reduced the health or not. That seems to take a lot of damage really fast there. The accuracy is insane, isn't it? Right. Okay. Yeah, he's going for the grab right now. Well. Let's 
Two handed swing. Dodged. I'm gonna leave my rugs now, innit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, no grabs. Hey, there we go. It's a bit of time, but we've got it. Oh boy. Right, well, the same thing applies though. We can still. So clear of that, and so we've got our soul flays back at least if we need them. And then you don't want to drop off here. Pretty sure what I dropped off here when I was practicing, that was actually a death. It allows you to just kind of look over everything. And then we should have stairs. We don't really care about this. There will be some ladder we can knock down. Now, if I remember rightly, we don't actually. Oh no, we don't knock it down. Actually, okay. Remember, right, we don't actually want to change to um, Umbral right now. So there is a Vestige thing around here, or whatever you want to call it. I can't remember the call now. Um, that you can use, but we are going to choose not to do this. Now, <laughs> if you drop down, you need to get over here real quick. We need to knock this down right now. That's the first thing we do. All right, and then get down. Get down. Climb. Thank you for iframes. God bless you. Right, get down here. Make sure your lantern's on. I can't believe you followed me. That's such a painful thing. Pull this out. That's the shortcut done. Back to... Oh, my name, we died. But that is the shortcut back. So I'm glad that we got that done so you guys can see where it is that we go. Now, if, like, you do die going through there, don't... I mean, if you want loads of um, currents, obviously, go ahead and ruin them all over again. But don't feel like you have to uh, keep on clearing everything out. You can just run through there. Okay? So now... To get back to where we were, provided that shortcut worked, and I hope it did, we can. Okay, look at these guys dropping me some mana stones, thank you very much. Simply come out this way. Like so. Okay, so this is where we were. Um, and now we can change back into Umbral if we wish. And. Oh, wow, we touched in a proper weird direction there. I was pressing back as I went forward. <laughs> I was like a bit close. Kick you off. I'm gonna rage combat you. Okay, so now we have shortcut back here if we wish to over this way because this is where we pull the shortcut out. Um, you can, if you wish to, like, pull the lamp out. I don't know how safe it is. I don't know how many enemies spawn here. Right? Like so. Technically speaking, the fastest way for path of progression is to go down hit this way. And this guy's really easy to trick, unless they've fixed his pathing, but I don't think they have. We literally just have to stand, like, here. <coughs> and he'll be like, oh, I'm going to come charge at you. <laughs> Alright. Easiest whatever. So path progression's down there. The blacksmith is actually down there as well. But we have something majorly important to grab first. Okay. We're going to use that strategy a couple of times. And make sure you've got charges left. Which is why I wanted to point out that we could re-fill the soul flea gauge in that previous part. So now there are a lot of these enemies with the spiky hats. There are two. And there's also... I don't know if he's aggroed on us already. He usually aggroes pretty far. The knight up there is also pretty tough here. So we've got quite a few enemies that we want to deal with. In particular, if we can deal with them early, we'll get rid of these ranged guys. There are a lot of them, so just bear that in mind. There's another one back there, but he hasn't aggroed. But he has aggroed, so that's an issue. I think they'll let me target him, though, I don't think. Too far away. By just a little bit. 
But let's show the plan here. We're going to get down. And we're going to do exactly what we just did a second ago. We're going to come over here. Stand to the side. Alright. Uh, if we can get you. Would be ideal. Should really be looking at what he's doing. But I'm so confident in this. That I just know he's going to fall off. He's already gone. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so that's one down. Yeah, second one. Over there. Excuse me, buddy. We've got a date with Destiny. Come on. Alright, so the next biggest problem here is the big night guy. Are there any more ranged ones left? It doesn't look like as many if there are. Why is not aggroing on me? Come on. So make sure your soul flay lantern's out, because now the plan's going to be get him stuck on here, and we're going to push the movement stick to the right when he comes over, and we're just going to soul flay him into this hole. Where is he? I definitely aggroed him. Has he gone back? Surely they haven't changed the aggro distance. Come on. Yeah, let's go. I'm getting stuck there, that's bad. Pretty much as soon as on there. Softly going. What? I don't know if that's going to work there. Did they? For some reason, the, the thing didn't want to work. Fine. We troubleshot it. It was fine. We were good. So that deals with most of the problem enemies on here. This, this is for uh, the priest dude. Hello, Sentinel Scripture. Yeah. And we need to go over this way. This is what I was confused with last episode. It's actually over this way. We need to go to unlock boss equipment. Is, there, is, there, is it here? On one of the bits, there's a drop down for some loot. Maybe. I don't think I missed anything. I haven't missed anything major, so we're fine. Um, so you might as well switch to Umbral now. Now I guess there is a technicality in that it would probably be best to get that piece of loot down there, not in Umbral, because if something spawns behind us and knocks us off, that's going to be frustrating. Deep blue sky. Take a heal. While I'm waiting, we've got that hallowed set. Pretty sure that's, that's going to be better defense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it even goes. Yes. Okay, that's going to make us... Oh, man, we're going to be humble. Oh, yeah, that fits us a lot, actually. So, now... I'm going to head on over this way. Make sure you jump over here because you don't want to fall down. Are you going to spawn on me? No? Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Something did. Yeah, I heard you. Alright, so, see what we've got to do here? We've got to pull this. Then pull our way to the other side. we got the ranged enemy and we got a butterfly. So we've got to be pretty quick over here. We need to realistically pick the one that we want to get rid of first. Whichever one you don't like the most, get rid of that. I think the butterfly is more annoying, so I'm going to try and lick the butterfly off its perch. Oh my god! That was such bad timing that they got there then. Right, so I'm going, to I'm going to find a good spot. I'm going to flick you. Oh, we missed. That's bad. That's bad. Those enemies knocked me off my uh, game there. 
I believe I've made the wrong. Look, I made the wrong. I'm stuck on here as well. All right, reset. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, this time let's try. Oh, it's right behind the pillar lot. Oh, we can shoot it though. Here we go. Oh my god. Right, so you're done. You heal now. Oh my god. <laughs> Just can't do anything on here. Get off. Oh man, really? Didn't work. Need this item. We need to have this item. Get off. Right, that's done. Let's get out of the way of these, and these are going to get toasted. Why have you got so much health? And damage. I didn't realize one of them was, like, upgraded. Right, so with all that done, and you're going to see by the amount of uh, stuff that I've got, that took some freaking e effort, let me assure you. Um, this is one of those issue, uh, one of those instances where the melee class just runs in, butchers everything. But the the uh, the range class just does not appreciate that. Right, so that's that. We can have that relic on. Get some more health. Why it's important. And we did get a vestige. We could use it. We could use it. I feel like it's a bad idea, realistically, to continue this run. How much? I can't believe how much spawns up here. This place is crazy. This is crazy. I wonder why this. I wonder why this place. Almost because of the amount of land or something. No, not that. Let me do that. I'm just gonna toast a few. Seemed worth it. I don't have a soul rend left, but we can just literally. Run past this guy. Might as well get the rewards for you. So let's come, um, I reckon, yeah, let's go back to the lantern. We'll end this episode here. And then in the next one, we can go below. Now that we've dealt with the upper part. Because it's uh, getting hectic, to say the least. So yeah, we'll end the episode here. Uh, it went a bit longer than actually I realised this would be. And then yeah, we're going to do the blow area. We'll definitely get the blacksmith um, and everything else that we need. So catch you guys again very shortly for that.